All right, hi, I am Rodney McKenzie, and you are watching More Life Video Blog. And as I mentioned uh, in my previous blog, what I'm doing is over the next 10 weeks, focusing on one law. And the reason, uh, the reason I'm doing this is because when I was like 25 years old, I, I hate driving. Driving is an atrocious thing for me, and that's why I live in New York City, because driving is just crazy making to me. But I got my first ticket in California. The reason I got a ticket is I was driving, I saw these double white lines that I didn't even notice, and I crossed over the double white lines, and a police officer ran after me because he was on foot and gave me a ticket. And he told me, like, what are you doing, crazy man? He didn't say crazy man, but he said, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And I said, well, I was just crossing over. And he said, well, double white lines means you don't cross over. Imagine it being this huge brick wall. Would you cross over a brick wall? Is that possible? And I didn't know. And I got a ticket. And I got a ticket because of a law that I didn't know that was in the books in California that's been there forever, but I just didn't know it. So I've been living my life or driving in California without understanding this law. Imagine that, not understanding the law. And so there's these great spiritual laws that everyone talks about, I think, but not many young people talk about. I don't talk about it with my friends, but there's this law, and the one law that I'm focusing on this week is called the law of mind. And the law of mind states that everything that happens in your mind happens outside of you, that your mind, that what's experienced here in your consciousness, that's what some spiritual people call it, but in your mind, your consciousness, what's happening within you is what you see. The law states that everything originates with a thought, with an idea, and then you experience your thought, your idea in your life. Over and over again in my life, I've seen this work. I've seen this experience where I believed, you know, for instance, that I wasn't lovable. So I would find men in the world that proved my thought, my belief. And see, this law states that actually the effect, the situation, the condition is the effect of what you believe. So it starts in your mind. It starts here. I personally have proved this over and over again in my life. This law has been quite successful for me. And I'm choosing this week to make the law work for me differently. That I want a different experience in my life, so I'm trying it out. Changing my thoughts changing my ideas, changing my beliefs to see what can happen. You know, one of the things I believe that's the most scary to admit, even on a vlog, is this belief that I can't make mistakes. I believe that I can't make a mistake. And so everything I do, I try to ensure that a mistake is not made. And the reason I believe that is because I think that if I make a mistake, even with you, that it proves that I'm not lovable. See, if I make a mistake, then it means I'm less of a man. And if I'm less of a man, that means I'm gonna let someone down. And more importantly, I think I'm gonna let my family down. And more importantly, I feel like then I let myself down. So I feel like if I make a mistake, I'm proving to you and to my family and to everyone else I know that I'm unlovable. And I'm choosing to change that belief today. There's a lot of beliefs there. I'm choosing to change the belief that mistakes cannot be made. See, I actually think today, in this moment, and I'm changing my mind on this, that making a mistake is a fabulous thing because making a mistake means that I get to be corrected. I get to figure it out. I get to learn it. And I get to believe today that life is school. And in school, you make a mistake and you learn from it. And you keep do going on. And so I choose today to make mistakes because I appreciate this Fact. And this is the big one for me. And if you see me, help me with this, that I'm lovable, that I am love, and that I deserve to be loved. And a mistake does not make me less lovable because I'm lovable. I'm a big teddy bear that's full of love, full of love, that I'm love itself. And so today in my life, I'm choosing to believe that I'm love, that mistakes, ah, it's an opportunity to grow that I can create a life where love and joy and peace abounds because that's the truth of me. So I'm curious what I can create today. I'm curious if I can be an artist that is creating a new life and use a new canvas, a canvas that says that love is possible, joy is who and what I am, 
and mistakes are a brilliant, wonderful opportunity to grow. Let's see what I create. Have a good day.